We've logged into UIM Provisioning Center here, and what I'd like to show you is how this infrastructure has been provisioned, the vBlock infrastructure. First of all, notice that we have two vBlocks here, the CSC Cloud Compute vBlock, which is hosted in Chantilly, Virginia, and the CSC BizCloud vBlock, which can be hosted on a customer's site. We can look at both the blades and the storage capacity of each of our vBlocks that's available. Further down on our dashboard here, we can see the capacity by location and by type of resource. For example, here we can see the CSC BizCloud vBlock. We have gold, silver, and bronze blades available, and we can look at the storage in the same way. The key component of UIM Provisioning Center is to treat these resources as pools. What we've done here is we've created some service offerings. We have the bronze, gold, and silver service offerings. At the bottom of the screen here, you can see the characteristics of these service offerings. Here I've selected the bronze service offering, and you can see the details of how that service offering is laid out. Think of a service offering as a template that we can use over and over to provision resources. If I go to the service manager, we can see two services that have been provisioned. These services are the CSC BizCloud service, which is something that could be hosted on the customer's premise, as well as the CSC Cloud Compute, which is their public cloud offering hosted in Chantilly, Virginia. Again, these are services that have been provisioned by UIM. And notice that in addition to just provisioning the storage, compute, and network resources, we also synchronize completely with vCenter. So here you can see the vCenter cluster synchronization status showing us all of the details of how we're configuring this cluster to be available within VMware. A new product that's just been recently announced is UIM Operations Center. UIM Operations allows you to view the vBlock infrastructure from the, the topology view as well as view alerts and information about the individual components of the vBlock. So here we can see the two uh, vBlock components that we have discovered and allocated. And then we can also see some vApps that have been deployed on these vBlocks. Let's take a look at my three-tier app. So here's a three-tier app that's been deployed. I have no idea where this three-tier app is located, what resources it's running on. If I click on this, I can see the information about where this app is located and how it's hosted. So for example, we'll see here in the map that my three-tier app consists of the web tier, application tier, and the database tier. Web tier being hosted on this ESX server, chassis 2 blade 3 in the UCS, and the application server and the database server are hosted on chassis 2 blade 2. I can further expand this view to look at the service view. Service view corresponds with the UIM Provisioning Center service view that we just were talking about in UIM Provisioning Center. Here you can see the resources that have been allocated to this service, the VLANs, the blades that have been allocated, as well as the storage that's been allocated. Finally, if we want to take a full look at the vBlock itself, we can look at the vBlock view and actually see the, how the vBlock topology is laid out and constructed. Notice that currently we have a, a yellow excla exclamation point here, which indicates that there's some kind of error on the vBlock itself. Here you can see the vBlock topology with the Cisco UCS, the chassis that are associated with it, switches that they're connected to, the MDSs, and finally the Symmetrix VMAX. From here we're going to look at how these resources are consumed within uh, v VMware's vCloud Director. So here I've logged into vCloud Director as our client. This is our client Acme Corporation, which has actually uh, purchased both public and private cloud services from CSC. So here we can see some organizational VDCs that Acme has configured or CSC has configured for Acme, some of which are residing in the CSC Biz Cloud, which is residing on Acme's uh, own premises, and some of which are located in the cloud compute resources in Chantilly, Virginia. 
If I look at the Acme Private Cloud itself, I can see a couple of the applications that have been deployed here. Now the final thing I'd like to show you here is where we can take this next. So here you can see a new product just recently announced from VMware called vCloud Connector. vCloud Connector allows you to move and migrate workloads between clouds. So you can see again here the CSC Biz Cloud hosting Acme Private Cloud and the CSC Cloud Compute hosting the Acme Pub Public Cloud. In the private cloud, I can see I have three workloads here. Let's say I wanted to take this ERP workload and copy it to a new location. It's very simple to do that. I simply choose the ERP application, give it a tell it where I want the target cloud to be. I'm going to go from the, um, the to cloud compute, give it a name, ERP test, let's call it. And I'm going to put this in the test and QA organizational VDC. The catalog is going to be the test VMs catalog. And finally, I attach it to a network. Once I'm done with that, I click OK. And down in the tasks here at the bottom, I can actually see the progress of that workload being migrated and copied to the new location. So that is just exactly how easy it is.